What's going on everybody? Today I'm gonna show you how you reset your ECU. Now um, <clears throat> After doing like, let's say after replacing a part on your car, in my situation, I have my O2 sensor, the upstream one. I did replace it. My engine light did not go away. Why? Because I did not reset my ECU. Uh, <clears throat> even if you change your spark plugs, let's say you change your air sensor, whatever type of sensor, whatever type of work you do on your car, you need to reset your ECU. Now, uh, it's a really easy step. It takes it's literally like a, a one minute job. Uh, this is a 1997 Honda Civic. The fuses box is located to the left of the battery. All you have to do is remove the cover. Okay, right here, the top two fuses right here to the left. You have to remove both of them. Okay, after removing these fuses, set a timer. It's 30 minutes. You have to wait 30 minutes and then you plug them back in. Start your car, let it idle for 30 minutes. Why? That's how the car works. It's a timing thing. Uh, it takes 30 minutes for the car to read the new part that you installed and your engine light should go away and never come back for whatever part you replaced. So let's say you replaced the auto sensor. The codes for the auto sensor should never come back on if everything is wired right, if you install the right part and everything is functioning right. Now, 30 minutes later, you put these back in, start your car, let it idle, and do not rev the engine. Okay? After you let it idle for 30 minutes, go take the car for a drive, drive it around, let's say, 2-3 miles, and then the light should go away and never come back.